What's up, guys? Uh, thank you for taking part in my Q&A uh, this week. I remembered that it was Wednesday, and that's pretty awesome because I was doing terrible for a couple weeks. So um, let's get started, shall we? <clears throat> uh, my first question is from Jason. Uh, what's been your favorite match of your career? Um, that's really hard to pick because I've had so many matches that uh, have been meaningful to me for different reasons, um, such as, uh, you know, I, I got to wrestle at the Garfield Hotel in Northampton uh, against J.C. Wessler, or excuse me, Chad Evans. Um, the reason that that one's one of my favorites is because uh, Chad Evans and I used to go to those matches when we were in elementary school and middle school and uh, go to that same building and watch wrestling. So it was cool to like go back there and, and uh, you know do that with him. Um, I've had uh, a lot of good matches with Sebastian Cruz, Danny Danger, um, you know Ricky the Model, Martinez, uh, Bill Daly. Uh, excuse me, yeah, Bill Daly. Um, so there, there, there's a lot of matches that it's tough to pick which one's my favorite. So um, I can't really answer that one. Um, my next question is from Jen. Uh, what advice would you give to people who need help getting motivated, for example, weight loss and exercise? Um, there's really nothing that I can say uh, as advice um, to get people to be motivated um, because it doesn't matter what I say to you or to the per or whoever needs advice. I could say, you know, like, oh, you know, health is very, very important and, you know, you want to look good or blah, 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 you know. Um, I can give you a million, million reasons um, to try to motivate you, but all those reasons could be absolutely nothing. Um, you're only going to be able to motivate yourself. Um, you're the only one that's going to be, or excuse me, um, that person is the only person that's going to be able to push themselves each and every day to their goal that they're looking for. Um, you know, I have a lot of friends that uh, in this wrestling business that say they want to go to WWE and... Uh, you know, myself and a lot of guys have gotten behind them to say to get to the gym, you know, work out, get, you know, get in better shape. But, you know, there's a million goal, there's a million reasons why you should do it, but they never do. And that's their, you know, that's their own fault. So you're only holding yourself back. So it's until, you know, that person that needs help getting motivated looks themselves in the mirror and really cracks down on themselves. That's the only thing that's going to happen. That's going to help them to get motivated. Um, my next uh, question is from Greg. Uh, what's your favorite thing to do outside of wrestling or favorite things to do outside of wrestling? Um, I really like to stay active. Um, I go on a lot of uh, like walks and hikes, um, you know, with uh, my girl or, uh, you know, dogs. And um, I also uh, like to go bowling. I'm a huge movie fan. Uh, I can watch a movie once and be able to quote like almost the entire movie, like almost word for word. Uh, give me about two or three times, and it's, I'm pretty locked in. Um, I also like to play video games. I never get a chance to, um, but I do own a PS3, uh, and I and I love to play PlayStation. I just, like I said, never get time to. Um, but, mo yeah, movies, PlayStation, getting active, you know, playing sports basketball. Um, in the winter, I go skiing, so, you know, I like to stay active. And then my bum days, I like to play video games. Um, my next question is from Nate. Uh What's one thing you refuse to do and one thing you refuse to eat? Um, anything that involves pain, like serious, serious, serious amounts of pain, I would say I would refuse, like, you know, laying on a bed of nails while a truck drives over me. I don't think I would want to do that. Um, one thing that I refuse to eat, anything that's not edible, um, or anything that I just feel like is not food, you know, like... Uh, like some countries eat the testicular fortitude of bulls. Nah, no thanks. No thanks. Uh, my next question is from Nikki. Do you think it's disrespectful to the sport of wrestling for people who don't know how to wrestle to mess around in the ring before a show? Um, I don't think it's necessarily disrespectful to the sport of wrestling. Um, I feel that if the promoter will let anybody go you know, in the ring and, uh, you know, mess around before they open the doors, then I don't think it's, I, I don't, I don't see a problem with it. I mean, other than the fact that if a wrestler, if wrestlers need to go in and, you know, try their, you know, 
try work out something, try a new move or something like that, then those people should clear out. If they don't clear out, then it's just respectful to the wrestlers. But to the sport of wrestling, I don't think so. Um, but if the wrestlers don't have a problem with, uh, you know, kids going in the ring and just messing around with each other, um, then and then the promoter doesn't mind, then I don't think it's disrespectful to, to anybody, um, you know, as long as, as long as they're careful. Uh, my next question is from Susan. Uh, if you only had one day left on Earth, what would you do, and what would you, uh, what would you have as your last meal? Um, my last day on Earth, I probably would um, fly back to Hawaii to see my family, and I would bring, um, you know, significant people of my life from the East Coast over to the West Coast with me and just kind of chill out for my last day. There's nothing really on my list of my bucket list that I need to knock off before I die. So I think just, just kind of relax and just enjoy my last moments, I would say. And my last meal would probably be a combination of pizza and KFC. I love pizza and I love chicken. It's awesome. Uh, my next question is from Veronica. Uh, what was the hardest thing you ever had to do? I think the hardest thing that I've ever had to do was um, when I moved out of my parents' house when I was 18, just to um, just to learn life. Uh, it's it's really really difficult. Um, people think that they can just they can just move out and you know everything's gonna go smooth, but you just realize how tough this world is when you know you don't have that kind of security. So learning life and learning about rules of life and everything of that sort that's pretty difficult. Uh, my next question is from Tommy. Uh, what would you do for a Klondike bar? Um, ask me if I would do an, an action for a Klondike bar, and I'll answer yes or no, because that's an open-ended question. Uh, my next question is from Amanda. Uh, did you ever think that you're full of yourself, and you're not all that important, nor famous, or great as you think you are? Um, that's, uh, hey, babe. Hi. It's my lady. She's uh, interrupting my, my little Q&A, but that's fine. Um, I, I apologize, uh, Amanda, that, um, you know, that you're having such a, a difficulty, um, you know, uh, seeing what's going on in my life, uh, I guess, that to, to the fact that you think that I'm full of myself and that I think that I'm great and famous and all that, um... If you were around me as much as, as my close peers are, you would understand how I am as a person. Um, but I actually feel sorry for you to the fact that this is actually, it seems like my, I myself is kind of, you, you know, having some kind of negative uh, impact on your life. And uh, if that's the case, um, you can just delete me on Facebook. That That's perfectly fine. Um, but I feel that maybe maybe you should fill up your time more instead of worrying about how I think of myself, because I, I pretty down myself about, babe, how many times do I make fun of myself throughout the day? A lot. A lot, yeah, a lot. So, I don't think you know me too well, but that's okay. Uh, I got a minute and a half to finish up. Uh, Amber, is my next question. What would you do if you're, uh, if you do as a career besides wrestling? Um, something in business now. I like the business aspect of everything, so something in business. Um, and what has been the hardest obstacle to overcome in your life? And I answered this question before. It was taking care of my mother growing up from the time I was about 13 until 18. Her having a nervous breakdown and depression was really difficult. So trying to be a kid and take care of her was very, very difficult. Oh, and to go back to what I would do as a career besides wrestling, and more specifically, I want to open up a restaurant when I retire from wrestling. So maybe something along that sort. And my last question is from Dylan. What was the best match where your fans were really into it? I can't pick one because there's been so many matches that the crowd has been absolutely ridiculous. Um, this past weekend, I was in Binghamton, New York for ECPW, and the crowd was ridiculous. Um, and that was their first time meeting me. So um, it's tough to call. It's, it's tough to say. But I have 20 seconds left. Uh, so thank you very much for taking part in my Q&A. Uh, make sure you follow me on Twitter, keep at me on Facebook, come to my shows, uh, merchandise is still for sale, hoodies are almost out, so place your orders, and I'll see you next week. Aloha.